Jewish Middle Eastern country has a different and distinctive culture of cinema, which differs in both history and infrastructure. The historical component includes key events and trigger points which led to the inception or emergence of cinema in the Middle East. We've put together a list of the top 10 Middle Eastern movies as a great introduction to the cinema of this region. At number 10, Once Upon a Time in Anatolia. Once Upon a Time in Anatolia is a 2011 internationally co-produced drama film, co-written and directed by Nuri Bigjayan, based on the true experience of one of the film's writers, telling the story of a group of men who search for a dead body in the Anatolian steppe. At number 9, Waltz with Bashir. Waltz with Bashir is a 2008 Israeli animated war documentary drama film written, produced, and directed by Ari Folman. It depicts Folman in search of his lost memories of his experiences as a soldier in the 1982 Lebanon War. At number 8, About Ellie. About Ellie is a 2009 Iranian drama film directed by Oscar Farhadi. It is the fourth film by Farhadi. The film is about middle class relationships in Iran. Farhadi won the Silver Bear for Best Director at the 59th Berlin International Film Festival for the film. About Ellie was Iran's official submission for the competition in foreign film section at the 82nd Academy Awards. At number 7, Turtles Can Fly. Turtles Can Fly is a 2004 Kurdish war drama film written, produced, and directed by Bahman Gabadi with notable music composed by Hossein Alizadeh. The film is set in the Kurdish refugee camp on the Iraqi-Turkish border on the eve of the US invasion of Iraq. 13-year-old Satellite is known for his installation of dishes and antenna for local villages who are looking for news of Saddam Hussein and for his limited knowledge of English. At number 6, Winter Sleep. Winter Sleep is a 2014 Turkish drama film directed by Nuri Bigijayan, adapted from the short story The Wife by Anton Chekhov. The story is set in the Anatolian steppe and examines the significant divide between the rich and the poor as well as the powerful and the powerless in Turkey. At number 5, Yol. Yol, translated as The Way, is a 1982 Turkish film directed by Serif Gurin and Yilmaz Güney. The screenplay was written by Yilmaz Güney and was directed by his assistant Serf Gorin as Güney was in prison at the time. Later, when Güney escaped from prison, he took the negatives of the film to Switzerland and later edited it in Paris. At number 4, The Color of Paradise. The Color of Paradise is a 1999 Iranian film directed by Majid Majidi. The story revolves around a blind boy named Muhammad who is released from a special school in Tehran for summer vacation. His father, shamed and burdened by Muhammad's blindness, arrives late to pick him up and then tries to convince the headmaster to keep Muhammad over the summer. The headmaster refuses, so Muhammad's father eventually takes him home. At number 3, Close Up. Close Up is a 1990 Iranian docufiction written, directed, and edited by Abbas Kiarostami. The film tells the story of the real-life trial of a man who impersonated filmmaker Mohsen Mahmalbaf, conning a family into believing they would star in his new film. It features the people involved acting as themselves. A film about human identity, it helped to increase recognition of Kiarostami internationally. Many critics consider Close Up a masterpiece of world cinema. In the 2012 Sight & Sound poll, it was voted by critics onto the top 50 greatest films of all time. At number 2, Children of Heaven Children of Heaven is a 1997 Iranian family drama film, written and directed by Majid Majidi. It deals with a brother and sister and their adventure over a lost pair of shoes. It was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film in 1998. And at number 1, A Separation. A Separation is a 2011 Iranian drama film written and directed by Oscar Farhadi. It focuses on an Iranian middle-class couple who decide to get a divorce. 
The film focuses on the disappointment and desperation suffered by their daughter due to the egotistical disputes and separation of her parents, along with conflicts that arise when the husband hires a lower class caregiver for his elderly father who suffers from Alzheimer's disease. Best Foreign Language Film in 2012, becoming the first Iranian film to win the award. It received the Golden Bear for Best Film and the Silver Bears for Best Actor and Best Actress at the 61st Berlin International Film Festival, becoming the first Iranian film to win the Golden Bear. We hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Tap Explore brings you the latest in local cultures and traditions. If you want to learn more, smash that subscribe button. As always, let us know what you thought about the video in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next one.